Let's drop the subject down another two degrees. And let's slow the heartbeat and the breathing down. Downloading the brain and then planting that in another host brain. They're selling this technology to the highest bidder. And I will not be moved. I vote no. These are some of the most powerful people in the world. She's about to spoil their attempt at life everlasting. The richest of the rich have their fountain of youth. This could give them a new body and a new life. If you don't change your position, I can't protect you. We're breaking so many laws right now, Oliver. Get it done. Understood? There's $5 million in it for you and your boys. My parents are making you to my house. Please don't do this. What happened here? Family's missing. The whole family is missing. We're gonna help. I need to know what you know. I will let them go as soon as we complete the merge. In her absence, the board has the authority to cast her vote. The purpose of this technology was never so that we could play God. This thing is way bigger than either you or I. Don't worry about the odds too much. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we have with us a pretty exciting person which I had the pleasure of meeting and actually have a conversation. And tonight we're gonna be at the premiere of a movie called Eternal Code. But we'll tell you a little bit more about that movie in a couple of minutes. But before we go to that, I would like you to introduce you to this fine gentleman. Please say your name to the camera. Um, my name is Harley Wallen. A, Harley Wallen, he's yeah. a director, producer, Writer, filmmaker, writer, actor, pretty yeah. much anything related to film. He will be one of the people you might want to contact when it comes to film. And you're probably wondering, why do we have a filmmaker in a business show? Well, a lot of people don't get it, but actually everything is business. That includes whether it's the music industry, whether it's the entertainment industry in general. In this case, the film industry is a business. And actually, I believe you actually own a company, right? Yeah, I own the Painted Creek Productions, uh, co-own it with my wife, who's also here. Uh, and uh, we do make films together. Awesome. And usually what kind of films is it that you make? You know what? I uh, I try not to be defined by genre. I, I like to tell a good story. So right now I've made a couple of family films. I've made some thrillers. I've made a couple of horror movies and some action films. So, so it all depends on how you woke up in the morning and what mood you're on. No, I read a script or I write a script that I feel compelled to see through to the other side. Uh, and, and that's usually my motivation. All right, well, we're going to spend the next couple of minutes. I'll probably take about five to ten minutes. Yeah. I would like you to tell me about your company. I would like you to tell me about your business. How did you get started? What were some of the struggles that you had to actually build, you know, a company or the level of your company? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a great question. It's, and I think it's one that's not asked enough, to be honest with you, uh, because it takes time to build. And especially in the Absolutely. beginning when you're starting a, a film company, uh, you're going to ask people for money to invest in your film and you're going to have very little track record to show why you deserve to to have them invest in your film. Uh, so we started with short films and we started with our own money. So that's where we went. We started uh, to, to show that we are capable and, we are, and, we, are doing, and we, are, we will do good things with, with the money. So our first investments were very small uh, and, and it allowed us to hire, you know, a lot of filmmakers, uh, you know, cinematographers straight out of film school and, uh, and people that were more on the hobby side. And then slowly but surely these budgets grew because the success of the films and so on and so forth. So now, uh, you know, we are now everybody, and everybody wants to be part of it. Now that, that it's done and built, like usually that's it usually is. how it works. Exactly. Yes. But what, what were some of the sacrifices you had to make in order to to put some money towards your projects, your ideas, and some of the films? That you made? Well, some of it uh, I'm I'm not very proud of. But for our first three films. I was driving a uh, lift all the way around uh, and, and working hard around the schedule of making the film. So you're filming, you know, 50, 60, 70 hours a week. And, and then on top of that, you're driving and, and you have a family and, and you make a lot of sacrifices. So uh, in the beginning, it was really, really hard just to get by. And, and, uh, and, and I'm happy that we're starting to get to the other side of things now, seeing films through, seeing investments come back. and seeing happy investors, that definitely helps. Well, that's the beauty of it. Actually, for me, that's very heartwarming, and I think that's what real business mm -hmm. is all about. People don't usually see what's behind this is. They just see the result. Mm -hmm. They see when it's done. Oh, look, it looks great. But they don't understand that sometimes you gotta make some real sacrifices. Mm -hmm. I said it before in a couple of episodes before, but um, one of the things that I did in the past, I used to have my own place, 
and then I actually end up moving into a small room that literally is just a bed and that's it, the door. That's the only thing you're yeah. going to find. Everything else, every penny that we ever made went back to the business. Mm -hmm. We invested back in the office. We invested back in it. Sometimes even people don't realize, but you got to buy Windex. You got to buy, you know, even even the mop, even a couple mm -hmm. of brooms if you're going to have an office or if you're going to have a location for yeah. your business. So people don't pay attention to those smaller details. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not going to be able to have a nicer dinner with your wife, you know, because now we got to pay for this person who is going to be in your next mm -hmm. film. And most people, I assume, in the entertainment industry, whether it's music or film, they give you a look like you're living in fantasy land. Like to say, yeah. Are you serious? Film? Come on, out of all the things, do you think you're going to invest on this? But again, but once they say that it actually takes off, mm -hmm. and even if it doesn't, quote unquote, I think it's really awesome when you feel the pride to say, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm providing jobs for other people, I'm helping other people. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, there's days when I'm completely broke, but it feels pretty amazing to be able to say, you know what, yeah. but we're giving opportunities to other people who otherwise, maybe they would have never had the chance to actually be able to do this. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of actors out there that are dreaming to become mm -hmm. a real actress and be able to be in a film. Mm -hmm. then probably nobody's going to hire them then yeah. there's got to be somebody to say look we happen to actually need somebody with these characteristics and right now we don't got the money to pay you but we'll give you a shot yeah uh, i think i was commenting with you that tonight we're going to have the premiere for this yeah. movie i was blessed and i was really honored to be invited to actually uh, participate and one of the things that i like to do when i get the opportunity to walk the red carpet or to go through these type of events is to invite people who never experienced that before who never mm -hmm. had the opportunity to live such moment mm -hmm. you know because it could be a life changing yeah. i was commenting the first time i was in a red carpet was for the premiere of men of the year for yeah, uh, robin wow. williams and christopher walken and i was invited by laura lini which is the, she was the lead actress in the film so mm -hmm. i i knew that moment when i was walking i was literally at this distance yeah. with uh robin williams and christopher walken my whole life changed you know yeah. from that point on you believe that anything is possible mm -hmm. so i believe red carpets and that type of events it could be a changing moment i know tonight is going to be a big moment for bira gafari yes. it's a big break to be able to say I'm actually in, into a bigger film than ever before. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes it could be a life change. And I know Vita for almost 10 years now. Yeah. So I know that this is a big deal and I know that this is a big breakthrough for her. So thank it you is. for that. It is. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for that she was I, terrific. I, I, uh, in yeah, the she film. looks You're a little bit psycho. Yeah. If you guys see the trailer, she looks a little bit psycho when she's yeah. staring at the, yeah. uh, the whoever the body is on the bed. Which, <laughs> and they also gave me the opportunity to watch it before, and I chose not to. Oh. Like so many people, I would love to wait until tonight to actually see it in the big screen uh, and be able to, you know, experience it at this point. I love that actually, because I think in today's time and age, when a lot of people are watching movies on their phones and whatever else, I really still think. You get a chance to watch a movie in well, theater and well, take the full experience. Don't miss it. Well, last night I actually missed watching The Matrix, which they were showing again on a theater in mm -hmm. 4K, full resolution in, in Dolby Amos. I was pretty tempted to go, but yeah. we got the show most gone, so we actually ended up deciding to work on, on this show today, actually. Fantastic. Um, so anyhow, um, I, this interview is not about me, so I would like you to say a little bit, just a little bit more about your company and when was it established? So we started making the short films. Uh, it's only been, it's, it's crazy when I think about this. We, we started making these short films a little over three years ago. And, and since then, we have now made 10 feature films. Voila. It's, it's just moved at such a crazy pace that, uh, you know, making three feature films a year over the last three and a half years or so has just been incredible. But I, I'm, I'm a workaholic. I love working. I love seeing progress. I love pushing myself. I love pushing my crew and my cast, uh, which maybe when we're working, sometimes they're like, Harley, I don't understand <laughs> how you do this. I'm exhausted. Uh, but then they see the end result and everybody's like, now I get it. But that's the beauty of it when you do it for a passion. I always tell people, I used to work in retail and I used to work up to 14, mm -hmm. 15 hours a day. And again, one day you wake up and you realize, what am I doing? You know, yeah. why, am, and why am I doing this for somebody else? Mm -hmm. If you wanna work that crazy and that hard, you should be doing it for your own business. Mm -hmm. So I really do see that, that when it's your hobby, when it's your passion, when it's your love, yeah. you know, it's really what you live for, you don't even feel like work. It feels like you're actually having fun. You're enjoying yeah. yourself while working. So I can definitely see that happening. And congratulations to the same thing. Our chamber was established in 2016. And I think mm -hmm. we've done a lot. The people who are gonna be watching, they know that we yeah. accomplish a lot in just three years and it's for the same reason it's when you have even if you have just two people in this case i understand it's you and your wife yeah. that really pretty much were the heads of the whole operation you do have a large team and you have other people follow but oh. the same thing when we started with the chamber actually when we started with the business we we're asking people to give us five bucks mm -hmm. you let me borrow five bucks right now and we'll make it into an investment where you will get your money back mm -hmm. and we still had a couple of people think about it yeah. we still had a couple of, well, 
let me see. And again, once they see that actually it's done, mm -hmm. those same people, they walk these hallways, they walk this office. And when they see it, they're like, oh, oh, yeah, it actually happened. Yeah. So I think uh, um, uh, one of the messages that I want to send is be kind, be nice to people, always be humble. Do mm -hmm. not look up other people like if they owe you money off, like you're better than somebody. Nobody's better no. than nobody. No. And the only reason why I've been blessed to actually accomplish a lot is because we've been nice to people. And uh, we were just talking with him mm -hmm. about the same thing. Just be kind to people. So yeah. this is a great director. This is a great producer. And I believe you're going to see a lot more in the future. So don't wait until 10 years from now to try to get a hold <laughs> of him and then say hi remember me right right, like, right no yeah. it's not gonna work <laughs> so yeah make sure that you support his films make sure that you watch some of his movies because he's not stopping that i can tell you he's not gonna stop yeah. it's his love it's his passion and i think it's it's what's all about yeah so, uh so when, when i say hi to your wife so i would like yeah. to hear something about your wife absolutely we want to include well, her in this interview even my wife she's is not on the picture but fantastic uh uh, first of all, the, the fact that she first came of all, in. She's gorgeous. This, she's yes, absolutely. Amazing. She's gorgeous. I did great. Thank trust you. me. Uh, <laughs> uh, but no, but she's a terrific actress. And what I really love is that taking the 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 time to go get an acting coach, to put the work in, to research her role, to do everything that's needed to carry off a really powerful performance. Uh, and and you know, now she's been winning a bunch of awards for her acting. Uh, but the things that people don't see and that they don't know is these hundreds and hundreds of auditions that come in for our films. Uh, she is the one who narrows it down to the last couple for the main roles. She is the one casting 70% probably of the roles for the film uh, uh, because she understands talent, she understands truth and performance, she understands screen presence and all these type of things that uh, that, that can really make the film go better. And also, she does product placements. So when you see the, you so know. So if any of you uh, watching Cabresto would like tequila. to sponsor some of his films and you yeah. wanna see your logo on the red carpet, you can contact us and we'll connect you with them, okay? We yeah. will appreciate a few hundred bucks you know, for, for, for the movies. So, yeah. Uh, uh. No, absolutely. I mean, we, we love taking in uh, brands that want to be seen and, and, and not that we have anything against the big brands, but I love giving new upcoming brands a chance to, to show themselves in our films. And that's a big deal to me because, you know, oh, yeah. maybe I, mean, maybe I can brand, help we're them We're talking about 50,000 plus. You know, but we'll, we'll go easy on the small brands. But yeah, if you got money, we want money. So, so yeah, so th that's what she does. And, and we actually have an extended team beyond uh, my wife, who who's, does uh, incredible work. Uh, we have we have Annette Sama, who's here uh, also for, for the premiere tonight, and her daughter Angelina. They do an awful lot of the production, and she does a lot of the paperwork and deals with SAG, the things that I have a hard, hard time with. Uh, <laughs> all, all the little complications. The, the yes, and and I love SAG. I love that what you do for the actors and 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 everything that you that you help us with. Uh, but but it is it is complicated uh, to 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 handle all the paperwork uh, for an indie film uh, with with SAG, and, and then beyond that, scheduling and stuff like that to be able to. To go to her and say, "Here's what we have," and and so she, she makes she gets it to into do all something. the non-fun parts. She gets to do the stuff she's very in. good at. Exactly, she's well, very, I fully understand that because the same way I always tell people, they're like, "So what is it that you do?" I'm the guy who sends out emails and smiles at everybody. That's pretty much my <laughs> whole role. But we trust our team. We have a lot of people. We, we know we have a CFO. He deals with the finances. We have a marketing director who deals with properly, mm -hmm. obviously, with marketing mm -hmm. and so on and so on. We got different people. I wouldn't yep. be able to do the work that we do. Which, by the way, I want to say hi to Sir Julian once again because he's the one who's gonna edit this video and who's the one who always you doing mm -hmm. a great job behind the scenes as well. Those are the people that a lot of times don't get credit. Yeah. That's why I wanted to mention your wife because I do have business partners as well. The people don't see, but it's sometimes we didn't even have a vehicle. Yeah. So you see us carrying desks and tables and stuff mm -hmm. to get to the office in the middle of the street in our bags. You know, those are the stuff that people really don't talk about because you're embarrassed. But eventually, as you mature, you realize, oh. you know what? There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It takes work. It takes sacrifice. It takes sometimes getting an extra job, just to, like he was saying, just to mm -hmm. be able to pay the things to build something. Mm -hmm. But once you have it established, once it's built, it's beautiful. And you feel proud of yourself to really yeah. say, you know what? Yeah, that's what it took. And sometimes that's the work that it's going to take. You know, sometimes we don't small jobs that we were completely underpaid, you know, mm -hmm. but we needed to build a brand. We had a couple of the major brands to say, you know what? I'm not going to pay you that much, but I'll let you use the bragging rights. We all heard that one, mm -hmm. you know, but once you once you go over that, you really want to uh, be able to 
creating something massive and it's not just for us again mm -hmm. we're going back mm -hmm. it's for the people that they hire it's for the people that they get yeah each of the actors each of the producers each of the makeup people each of the people it's an immense army of people that they're yeah. providing jobs they're providing a meal to their tables yeah they're creating dreams they're building dreams for other people that perhaps would have never had an opportunity mm -hmm. so i respect a lot the film industry and i love a smaller company such as such as yours they really are making a breakthrough mm -hmm. but i'm not even sure we should be calling you anymore a small a company anymore you got sony now behind you so yeah we've, we've been very very thank you we've been very blessed uh you know some of the distributors that we've dealt with so far uh, has been incredible uh vision has is probably the one that's been closest to me which is uh, who is uh, representing uh, Eternal Code. Uh, they did such an incredible job with the foreign sales for Betrayed. I believe we're in 18 countries now. Uh, and uh, Sony did the, the local VOD, which was amazing. They got us in uh, now in theaters, on video on demand, on all kinds of platforms. So, uh, you know, the fact that there's somebody out there that's looking for, you know, the little guy uh, doing something special and wanting to, to help us out maybe take that extra step that we that we hadn't taken yet and, but i want to make sure i mention one more person now that's nancy oswine she's uh she's been a part of us and was actually the first person that bet on us when we had not received a, a dollar from anyone yet and we were making our, our first feature film with somebody else's money it was it was her that came and said you know what i love what you're doing and i'm gonna bet on you uh, and she has a, a great actress uh, 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 daughter in, in Kelly uh, Coney, who who was in Law and Order, and 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 uh, and she's been a part of what we've done ever since as well. And she has become uh, amazing at getting us fantastic locations. Some of the incredible locations that you see in in, in this film and in Betrayed, um, she just dug up places that I would be like, how did you find this, Nancy? This is crazy. It's amazing. But we've done it in the past, and I feel proud to say in the future, if you need locations, don't be shy. Send me an email, and I would love to help you find a couple of locations because we do know some people mm -hmm. who have pretty amazing locations that we couldn't afford. Yeah. we got a couple of people who have jets, who have a couple of helicopters, yeah. who have stuff that in our dreams we would never reach. And I think when you create that connection, that's how mm -hmm. I end up being a little bit part of the film industry. Mm -hmm. It's because we provided the location, we provided costumes, we provided food sometimes yeah. you know, for the crew that it's was terrific. actually filming. And when we work together as community, it mm -hmm. should be all about for me the passion just like yours what I love about it is just the thought of that you're providing jobs that you're building a dream for somebody mm -hmm. else I could go home and without a single dollar in my pocket but with a big old smile on my face yeah. saying but did you see the look on his face did yeah. you see that we actually make somebody believe they can accomplish anything yeah. and I think that's the greatest award I've received plenty of awards in my life but I think the greatest reward that you can get is when you build somebody when you create somebody and they make it to the top you know, yeah. they reach a higher level than you. Mm -hmm. I, I feel flattered, man. Again, I'm invited tonight to your premiere. And it's pretty awesome to be able to say, you know what? We support it. We, we sponsor. We do something for this yeah. person. And now they're going into a different level. So I think that's mm -hmm. what it all should be about. So now I think we talk a little bit about your company, but I want to hear about your movie. Tell me about the movie. Don't do spoilers because I okay. do want to watch it tonight right. and I want to be able to <laughs> get it, you know, afterwards. But uh, tell us some of the sacrifices or struggles or anything or whatever it took to build. So, so the, the, the interesting part to start was where the story came from. Uh, I, I read a story on Facebook and there's an, an Italian doctor who was doing, uh, taking the head off of a paraplegic person, yes, I'm familiar putting with it story. onto the body of a brain dead person and combining the two whole pieces, uh, making a, a, a new person essentially. And they had done this on deceased primates and, and they really think this is going to work. So my writer mind kicked in immediately because this is the holy grail. This is this is the fountain of youth, and and we've done such good movies about it. But I felt like now we're actually there. We are around the places where stem cell technology and genetic research, where this is actually becoming somewhat real. So I wanted to test that, and I wanted to play with a moral dilemma. If you could live forever, uh, if you could, if you if you could. What is the what is the tag? Would you kill to live forever? But it's it's that's that's the thing that people go. Oh no 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 no! And then they, you know, would I? Oh, and you, I love that. you be amazed. I love I, that. I read a couple of stories I saw on Facebook, and one of them is that one of them I was always against uh, um, cloning. 
mm -hmm. not cloning parts, but cloning full humans. Mm -hmm. As humans, I, I'm one of the few people probably left. I actually believe that we need a body, soul, and spirit in order to be a full human. Mm -hmm. And we can always replace the body parts. I believe you can always replace the bones and the skin. Yeah. But where do you get the soul and where do you get the spirit? I do not want to know yeah. how they bring another human that is already dead back to life and have him walk around, you know, even, to, even if it's through cloning. So, so there's some inventions that I believe it shouldn't be tempered with. And it shouldn't yeah, be. playing there's gotta God. Be a, there's got to be a line where you understand, no, you're not supposed to be God. Something else that I recently read is they can actually now teleport things from one place to the other. And the most recent one, they actually reach all the way to the moon. They can actually oh, teleport wow. something from here to the moon without having to use a vehicle. It's something else wow. that I feel like we shouldn't be playing with because, yeah, what is it going to lead to, you know, in the future? We, we Makes can for great with. movies, though. It makes that, for absolutely, absolutely great, great movie, movies. Otherwise we wouldn't because have. it's intriguing. And, and, and so in, in this movie, they have now come up with a second step in, in this invention where they can download the essence of you onto a, a drive type of device and reinstall it into another brain and essentially become a host to run that almost as if it was their vehicle. Uh, so that's the, what they're in the middle of. And what, they've, what we found was that these riches of the rich people, they are on a waiting list and they're waiting to take over these supermodels and these perfect people. That's very creepy. So that's kind of the, 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 the thing that happens here. Uh, so she stands up and says, no, I will use my veto, I will take my moral high ground and I will stop this. So therefore, him will say, Oh no, you won't stop my attempt at life everlasting. Yeah, you know how much money that will make? Oh, that's, that's probably the guy right there saying like, Exactly. But you know the kind of investment that I have on this? Yeah, absolutely. So, so they essentially kidnap her and hold her hostage to try to get, um, you know, uh, the, the board to vote through a yes in her absence. And I'm uh, gonna cut you off right there, because again, I'm not trying to build a spoiler. So I do want to watch okay, the film, that's and fair. I want everybody to go out there and watch the film. So I want to kind of hear about the film, but not not too much, not too much where we actually get the whole story. Like, yeah. okay, why would I want to go get it now? But I want to compliment you also on the trailer. Thank uh, you, uh, Joe Williamson. Which, hey, Joe, we want to say hi to Joe. Yeah, hi, Joe. You're Joe the best. Said actually, the first thing he did about related to this film, he came running to my office and was like, hey, so you want to see something cool? It's like, yeah, this is the latest film where Vita is going to be featured. And the first thing that I noticed is the the, uh, the trailer was really awesome trailer. I even showed it to some of the kids. I'm like, to be an independent film, to actually, when you look at it, it looks like a quality trailer. A trailer is supposed to get Thank your you. attention. It's supposed to, I actually like the editing, the sound. Thank it has you. really good sound. Thank you. So I actually have high expectations for the film to have yeah. you know, a pretty good sound. Because mm -hmm. when you hear the trailer, I put it on my speakers and just in a stereo, but you mm -hmm. can hear the quality yeah. of the sound and you can see the editing that they did. It was really yeah. quality and it was outstanding job that they did I have I, ha I have a very very good team so for audio on this film Kaizad and Feroz Patel all the way in India doing wow. my sound uh, design and my scoring uh, and they got us some really 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 good uh, original songs for this one as well uh, and then my editing Fred Mossman he's in Florida getting hit by a hurricane right now so <laughs> I hope you're okay Fred I know this is not fun but uh, uh, he is he's been amazing he just took over editing on our films and the and the the jump up in quality from having uh, you know a, we had good local editors before but having a real a real you can, film editor you can you hear can't. within the first minute not even a minute I'll say probably within the first 30 seconds of the trailer you can actually hear the quality one of the gifts that mm -hmm. God has given me is to be able to hear it. and I mm -hmm. can hear the quality immediately this is a real, you know, major film quality sound. It doesn't sound Thank like you. an independent Thank film. You. It doesn't look mm -hmm. like independent film. It looks like a full future film in the yeah. way that it should be. And I think it's a, it's a great job. Whoever, whoever, what's the name yeah. of the gentleman you mentioned? Fred Mossman. Congratulations. I think you did an outstanding job. And trust me, uh, someday you'll get to know <laughs> what I do. And I think you're great. And also, you mentioned the soundtrack. Yeah. So, for, we know a lot of people in the industry, including my cousin, Rebecca Valadez, who's a two time Grammy winning artist, and um, uh, songwriting Shane. She's one of our. Uh, one of our uh, people that we're in contact with, she's the vice president in our chamber. She's also uh, she's also nominated right now as actually for oh. a Grammy, 
and she's a uh, good luck. she's a composer. No, but I want to throw him under yeah. the bus and say this is the guy you need to talk to to get your <laughs> to get your music into film. I love so having original wait, music. Like, like I, I love, said, love, love. Don't it. wait until he becomes big and then try to contact me. So how do I get a hold of your friend, the filmmaker? Yeah. So now is the time. If you guys yeah. wanna wanna put your name that on is, film, that is true though, and that the, goes yeah, for everything I mean, from investors to 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 actors to. Because I've we've seen a little bit of that where people that we reached out to early on were a little <sighs> bit too good for us, and now it's like now they're. No, hey, if you Harley. wonder why I haven't returned hey, your call, that would be the reason. Yeah. Do not call me after we already got it done. So if you're gonna help <laughs> help when it's needed, yeah. not you know when you feel like it's the time, because a lot of times simply unfortunately there's other that people who are gonna late. take the opportunity yeah. and they're gonna do that. We were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. I trained some people twenty years. You know, in the past, and now they made it big, and people are like, "Oh, how do you know that person?" And guess what? I didn't just start it two weeks or three weeks ago. Yeah, it was quite a bit. You build that relationship, and you go little by little. So for me, that's the way to do it. Don't yeah. wait until it's too big. And I have absolutely confidence that you're gonna make it really big. And it's not even your talent. You do have a talent, but what I admire the most is your passion and your love for what you're doing. And it, the hours I respect so much anybody mm -hmm. who works those long hours because a lot of times people don't see the work that oh. it takes behind the scenes, you know, they just see the final results and they're like, okay, that was nice. Okay, that was nice. That was a whole year of my life. Yeah, you know, I mean, that, you know what this, I did? You know this what year I had is to over do? an hour, a year and a half from the beginning of concept to writing to premiere. It's a, a, a year, probably in eight months. Yeah, but I mean, and people don't get it. Some, so, something so simple like this mm -hmm. poster, which is a very nice poster, yeah. by the way. They go for about 60 bucks. You know, just the poster. So trust me, when you try yeah. to do the graphics, you try to do the banner, you try mm -hmm. to do everything related to the film, mm -hmm. people just say, that is nice. But it's more than nice. You <laughs> took a lot of work, you took a lot of effort, a lot of people yeah. behind it, and everything a lot of money. does. Everything costs money and everything mm -hmm. takes a lot of work. So uh, to some of our investors, to some other people in the yeah. industry, I really you. invite you guys to actually get a hold of this gentleman and actually begin to support his films because you'll so, see it. And they, support they yourself too, because we are starting to see the checks coming in from the films we've already made. So not only are you supporting somebody that's really up and coming, but also being a part of somebody that's already putting money in the bank for other people. Uh, and it's- Yeah, you'd be supporting me again. Like yeah. One of the reasons why I do it, I, I would say because you're providing jobs, because mm -hmm. you're building dreams for other people, and guess what? That makes you look like a hero. That makes you look like you actually care for this community. Mm -hmm. So don't invest your money. Don't go buy lottery tickets. Don't go buy lotto. <laughs> you know, but for kind of like donate a couple of bucks to the people who are actually building dreams mm -hmm. and actually making a difference in our community by providing jobs and by building dreams. So mm -hmm. um, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for your well, thank time. Thank you. Thank you for, for stopping by. We congratulate you and your recent movie. And we know it took a lot of work, but tonight is going to be your premiere. And we really, really wish you the best. And uh, we'll have some other pictures and some other shots, you know, after the event. So uh, you probably got to get a suit and a tie and yeah, look presentable. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, uh, I didn't want to get it all. No, that's OK. This is before. just for an interview. It's completely casual. Yeah. I'm the business guy, so I got to be in a suit <laughs> for this film. But I also tell people all the time, you're going to see me walking down the street with my backpack and my jeans or yeah. simply slacks. And that's the real me. That's the real person. But you gotta be able to dress properly for each of the occasions and i think yes. you're properly dressed for this occasion you're just the director today we yeah. just came back from a holiday so yeah. we can't blame you you know we just yep. had, we just had labor day but we know that people like us don't even <laughs> take a break from labor day we probably no. you probably were planning the premiere already right you know did we miss anything did you bring that did you, did you call yeah. that person and did we you know, print this did we get that who's uh, are they and, coming and you always miss something something at the end of the day something's missing you're like i don't know joe man, i think joe was, gets it all Yes, Joe. Joe, there's not, nothing escapes Joe. He's he's done an amazing job putting a, a lot of this together. You know, with us, you know, originating in Michigan and, and shooting uh, most of our content in Michigan, coming here and 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 and, and planning a, a, an event this big, and not being here would have been nerve wracking. And if it wasn't for Joe, this this just wouldn't have happened. I mean, he's amazing. So thank you, Joe Willinson, for all your work. I'm a witness of your work, and sometimes yeah. Yeah, he'll be pulling his hair, and he'll be spending <laughs> long hours. He'll make me try. To, he try to make me come in at six in the morning to the oh, office. Oh yeah, it's he's an early bird. I'm not getting up early in the morning. <laughs> he's but, he gets up early. Yes. We, we actually have a couple of people who I respect for the same reason. They actually start at six in the morning. They mm -hmm. get up at four or five in the morning. And actually, 
Sir Julian, the guy who's gonna edit this video by the time you guys see it, he gets up at three in the morning oh. to actually go to work. Mm. And he's here, but you know, he's still with us and he's still supporting, you know, our craziness and ideas. So thank you so much. You are appreciated and mm. we respect you a lot for the kind thank of you. work that people put behind this. Sense. It's not something simple. Yeah. You know, it's not something we take for granted and simple. Even 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 an interview like this, how many people are involved? It's it's amazing to, to start thinking about that. Right. So uh, one last time, would you like to say something to your wife? Uh, absolutely. Thank you for believing and supporting all the way through. Uh, you know, especially we had tough times when we started to to put all the belief in me that I was going to be able to get us to where we are. Uh, I can never be thankful enough when everybody was saying, hey, go get a job. Uh, and, and she said, no, honey, pursue your dreams. That 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 was the most amazing gift ever. All right, well, thank you so much again for stopping by. Thanks, Sal. God bless, and we'll see you tonight. Dressed thank up you, yeah, sharp, tonight. Looking like new. All right, take care, we'll see you all. Bye-bye.